everybody my name is Beck welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so I haven't posted a video in a hot minute at least not the ones that you sit down in front of a camera like I'm doing right now and it turns out I don't have enough space in my camera so I have to go and delete some footage now be right back I'm also going through some health cycle problems because I am breaking out like crazy I try to use makeup to cover it but also I don't want my skin to completely be covered so it doesn't have room to breathe like the worst thing you can possibly do when you're breaking out is to put makeup on it which I'm doing right now but I just couldn't bear to put myself in front of a camera if I didn't have something on my face for the last couple of days I've been trying to let my skin breathe and try to fix my diet to make it like go back to its original state I'm in my like mid to late 20s and this shouldn't be happening I have relatively dry skin I think it's like the new like medication stuff I've been on so it's like really messing with me just slightly a little bit but anyway you're not here to see that or hear about that but if you're wondering why I might seem a little bit more like down and not chipper as usual I gained a couple of more subscribers during the month of June I've been doing a lot more live streams and I really put myself in front of the camera because I don't have a PS4 camera where I usually stream from and you probably have never seen my face before so that is why it really is a confidence kind of thing that I don't feel comfortable right now to even show myself but nevertheless I've already put on the makeup and sat here and set up the lights and microphone and everything so I might as well just film. For this month, I didn't play a lot of physical games because there was a lot of digital sales going on Steam, PSN store and the Nintendo Switch store. Some I missed out on because I didn't get paid in time to buy them and kind of like annoyed by it. One of the games that I really wanted after my friend Daniel Brackenman's stream was Muse Dash and unfortunately, by the time I realized that I wanted the game, the sale was officially over so I couldn't even buy it. I could have got it for like $5 cheaper and I don't really want to pay $45 for it. <laughs> I'm too cheap for it. It's only 30 bucks for him but it's $45 because of conversions and everything. But anyway, nevertheless. I guess I'll start off with the Nintendo Switch. For the Switch, I played Stardew Valley every single month I play it. On Farm Together, there was an event that was on this month and I managed to finish it on the last couple of days because I wasn't too into it. And I also play some Wargroves with Daniel and Shishi Fairy. He streamed up one day and I decided to hop up. And also Asia Respect. We all played together on the live stream. Everyone left. It was a very long and drawn out game. It can be really fun, but sometimes it's just a lot. Especially when it's late at night and we don't have energy for it. And I tried my best to find Splatoon because, because Daniel was streaming one day. And I said that I will hop on. I put my... Nintendo games in one box and I never move it. I knew it wasn't in here because I opened it and it was gone. See, you can see my ring light. Anyway, I tried to find my Splatoon game. This is like heartbreaking because I went to my cupboard and I searched for every single game. I opened every Switch box that I had and none of them had it. I'm still missing my Octopath Traveler, which I'm so annoyed about because I have one optional boss that I haven't finished yet and I was trying to finish it this month. But I couldn't find Octopath Traveler, I couldn't find my Splatoon, I couldn't play it. I got really irritated by myself. And I also bought Cattails because it was on sale. People have been telling me to get the game but it has always been full price and I don't want to buy it full price. And I feel like I managed to snag it for like $16 something, so $17. And I got $88 Nintendo points from it. But I didn't use all my gold coins because I'm planning to use those gold coins for another game later on. I didn't buy Mario Maker because it was tad pricey. I'm trying to wait for it to go on sale before I buy Mario Maker, even though I really want it because I already pre-ordered Fire Emblem. That's a price set and I have several other games that I want in the month of September and November. So I'm just like holding on to like my money and hopefully to buy the games that I really want. But I do want Mario Maker, but I will buy it later. Did you guys buy Mario Maker? Are you having fun with Mario Maker? I'm hella jealous. Oh yeah, I also bought that for like $4 at EB Games. I mentioned that in one of my older vlogs. Moving on to the PS4. I think I only played two games, possibly three. Stardew Valley is probably one of them, but I say that every single month. And I also streamed that once, I think. If you've been on this channel for the last couple of weeks, I have been streaming Monster Hunter World consistently almost every single day or every second day. 
and it is just a game that I'm currently addicted to because I recently got it on sale for like $25. I wasn't planning to buy the expansion pack but I think I will uh, when it comes out in September. I'm like really excited for it. I'm trying to find a cheaper alternative instead of buying it through the PSN store because it will cost me 80 bucks and I'm I don't want to pay 80 bucks for it and if there's a physical for it that is slightly cheaper it will be the most ideal situation I'm not trying to buy like the full special edition or anything I just want the standard one but I want Iceborne now so bad because it looks so good I did try out the demo the better when it came out and I had fun. I really like the spa aspect of the whole game. It looks really fun. I I can't wait to play it. And I also streamed a little bit of Hasune Miku, but I think I only streamed it once. And I didn't really play it offline. I only played it on stream. But with Monster Hunter World, I do play it offline and online. When I say offline, I mean not on stream. I'm just like really into Monster Hunter World. Am I good at the game? No. Absolutely not. Totally garbage. But I enjoy playing it with my friends. And there's a couple of my new subs that have been playing with me as well, which is great. So far I had a positive experience with all the subs that have joined in. Hopefully it continues to be like that. When you're smaller, you can really pick out people to hop in and play with you. I am a bit reluctant when people want to join in a game that I don't know because I don't feel comfortable giving out my PSN to everyone. I'm pretty sure you can figure it out because it shows on the stream. It doesn't mean I'm going to accept your friend's request, especially with messages that can break my PS4. You know what I'm saying? There are people out there that really want to mess with you that way and I'm poor and I want to save my PS4 from all of that. I'm pretty sure they fixed it but you never know. You never know what might happen next. So don't be offended if I don't add you back as a friend. You have to at least appear on my stream a couple of times before I get to know you before I can add you. But that's not what you're here for. And um, moving on to Steam. I only purchased like three games and one of them was from last month I think or early this month. I don't remember at this point. There were a couple of Steam summer sales and it's winter here. Like I'm wearing like winter gear here. <laughs> my friend getting distracted. My, my Canadian friend sent me this and I decided to stick it here. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I bought the Islander for $3. It's a simple clicker kind of game. You know, I'm just gonna give up on that. It's a clicker kind of game. But you don't click all the time. You harvest stuff if you want like casual farming experience kind of game then I'll recommend it to you. It's only $3. If you don't even like it, it's still only $3. The only thing I hate about the game is you have to manually save it all the time. So if you made a big progress and the game corrupts for some reason, it won't be saved. I'm a pretty anxious kind of person so I save every five minutes or so in the game a little bit too much sometimes i wish there was like a like an auto save somewhere so i don't lose progress but i haven't had the experience of my game corrupting in any way but i've heard from the reviews that it has happened to a couple of people it has exited out of the game for no apparent reason so i'm a little bit nervous when it comes to that and i also played a little bit of starship valley <laughs> What do you expect from me at this point? I always play Stardew Valley. I have it on all three platforms, but the thing with the PC version, at least I can use like mods. I figured out a way of installing the mods back into it again so I can actually make it really pretty now. And I've also played Kingdoms New Lands. I would highly recommend it. It's expansion packs of Kingdoms. Highly recommend. I think it's currently on sale. I enjoy playing that game so much and the game that I bought was Raccoon that Mario recommended to me. I haven't had the chance to even install it and play it because there's just lots of options out there. I have just bought Cattails and I haven't even opened it. I made sure it got installed on my Switch but I didn't open it yet. Anything that is remotely like Saju Valley, I'm probably gonna get top priority to it, but I'm also very lazy. Like I become too comfortable with the games that I have and I like to play the same games over and over again. I remember someone left me a comment, I think it was on my backlog video that talked about how he had to delete the games that he played on a regular basis and then he was forced to play the new games that he bought. I don't know if I can ever do that in my entire life. I know that is definitely commitment. You'll definitely finish your games at that point because you deleted a whole bunch of them. But I can't do that. That's a little bit too much. Oh, did I mention, was it 
my name. Like, did I play Edith Finch in this month or last month? But I finished that game too. It was a PSN Plus from last month and it broke me. It emotionally broke me. That was like, a, that was something that I did not expect. I thought it would be like a casual storytelling kind of element. But that game broke me. I actually did cry towards the end. It was unbelievably sad. And there is a perfect review video by Joseph Anderson that I would recommend people to watch it. But bear in mind, there is a lot of spoilers because he does go in depth about the storylines and stuff like that. If you want a proper review of that game. But would I recommend people to play that game? Yes. It is quick. You can finish it within an hour, it is emotional and I felt so drained after that and it can be a little bit weird but I recommend people playing that. That's the other PS4 game that I played that I forgot but I don't know if it was this month or last month. I try to write down so I can be somewhat coherent in this year because I'm kind of like delusional at this point. Just a little bit. I'm trying to be as coherent as possible but I don't know if I'm presenting myself well enough to come across that way. Most of the games I played this month was digital. There was like massive sales. That's why I've been like buying more digital games, even though I'm not one for digital purchases, but they were on sale. Sometimes it's harder to buy physical copies these days. I don't want to encourage that market, but this is like what I'm presented with. I prefer physical. But one good thing about digital is at least you don't lose them. I still can't buy my Splatoon and I'm really annoyed with myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below what games have you bought in the recent months and what games have you been playing recently. And try to stop me from spending money because it's really hard. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. Leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say to me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!